This is a large custom-built two-story house where Brad and Melissa Butters lived, along with their two daughters, June and Joanne. This car looks to be 1940s. A year later, the attack on Pearl Harbor in Hawaii occurred on Sunday, December 7th, 1941. This is Joanne in June. Joanne appears to be four years old and June eight years old. They would grow up during World War II, which started September 1, 1939, when Germany attacked Poland. The United States entered the war after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in December of 1941. Back then, people got their news from the paper and radio. Now we see Melissa and her daughter Joanne entering the Butters household. Joanne poses for the camera. Joanne will marry her high school sweetheart and have a son. She will live 77 years and pass away from cancer. Melissa Butters models her fur coat. Having lived in an orphanage for four years, Melissa's focus seems to be on being a social butterfly and the material things life has to offer. Melissa will live 57 years and pass away from cancer. Melissa's mother died at the age of 37 from cancer, which is why Melissa became an orphan. The older daughter, June, does her best to gracefully walk down the stairs and pose for the camera. June and Joanne make their way to the fireplace, which appears to be a planned event. The 8mm film struggles to capture Christmas lights, not the best for capturing low-lighted subjects. This is Jim Butters, who is Brad Butters' half-brother. Jim's mother died during childbirth, which was not an uncommon event back then. Jim checks out a doll, which was a Christmas present to the little girls, and passes it over to his wife. Jim appears to be doing his best to act for the camera. Smoking was very popular back then, as there was no health warnings. Later, in cigarette ads, doctors would actually promote their preferred brand of cigarettes. Two lamps are used to light up the scene to provide enough light for proper film exposure. Butters Pump and Equipment Company provides pumps used on fire trucks. The people in the scene seem impressed with the water pressure coming out of the fire hose.
When the fire truck returns to the station, you will see a small dog riding in the fire truck, running around after the fire truck is parked. It was not uncommon for fire departments to have dogs as their mascot. These two gentlemen appear to be discussing a potential business deal. A worker finds himself being filmed and waves goodbye as he escapes being the star of the show. This footage is of other pump and equipment companies. Brad Butters is filming the competition and locations of their businesses. During World War II, Butters Pump and Equipment Company would work closely with the Army Corps of Engineers on various projects. It is interesting seeing the old factories and places of business. <laughs> 